What's up, buddy? Good to see you. All right, so we got Steven back in here, you know? So Steven is known for being one of our fish experts. He's a fish guy, you know? And I feel we'll bring him in. We have a lot of questions, you know, that people want to know about these clownfish, how do we pair them up, and a couple of questions like that. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. what do you think? Yeah, I'm down for it. I know you say that I'm the fish guy. You seem more like a coral guy, not really into fish that much, are you? Coral guy, into fish, did he just say that? <laughs> We have sharks here, we got Casper here, we got okay. clownfish. All right, okay, I take clownfish. it back, I take it back. All right, all right, just kidding. <laughs> no, yeah, seriously, I've always been more of a coral guy, but I can help it, but to have my love for fish, you know, it's just, I'm just more passionate about corals, but I figure a lot of people always have questions, you know, and I'm gonna play customer's advocate now. Sure. And they always asking me questions when I'm in the retail store, I've been doing this for a long time, and I'm gonna ask some of those questions to you and see how you answer some of them, you know? Oh, pressure's on. How do you pair clownfish? What is your, what is your technique? So first, when you're looking at clownfish, you really wanna get one that's bigger than the other one. You do want one that's larger and one that's smaller. Um, the bigger one is going to be more dominant and that's the one that's gonna become a female in the pair. All right, Steven, so one question that I get a lot from customers in the past is like, I show them a pair of clowns and immediately they wanna do more than two. And the first question is they ask me, can I do three, can I do four? What's your answer to that? I personally say it all depends on the type of clown that you're purchasing. Orange skunk clowns do really well in groups. However, I wouldn't really recommend that for other types of clownfish, unless you have a tank that's about 250, maybe 300 gallons at least. That way they have a lot more room to spread out and become less territorial. We're known here at World Wide Coals for carrying a lot of fish and we also have a lot of clownfish. Can you tell me a little bit of variety that we carry, some of the care levels of them, please? Sure, absolutely. So we do carry a lot of different clownfish, including skunk clowns, ocellaris clowns, percola clowns, and maroon clowns. All right. Among all of those, the care level is about the same across the board. However, the maroon clowns and the tomato clowns are probably gonna be the most hardy. Um, right. They don't necessarily uh, have any restrictions on food. They kind of eat a wide variety of food, oh, yeah? including frozen food, pellets, flakes. They, they really oh, cool. and truly eat a lot. Some are more aggressive than others, right? Correct? Absolutely, that is correct. Which ones are the most aggressive ones? The most aggressive ones are probably gonna be the tomato and the maroon clownfish. I was one there, one that one time when my finger got bitten. <laughs> That's that happened to me a got lot me pretty hard, you know? It's happened to me quite often. They're very, very aggressive. All right, Vic, so you've been asking me a lot of questions, but I have a question for you. You do? I do. All right, so, what you got? A lot of people think that you need an anemone to, for clowns to host on. Is there anything else that clowns can I mean, host on? It's not that you need it, preferably, yeah, you wanna have a long tentacle, maybe a bubble tip, a carpet anemone. But a lot of times people don't want those on the reef or they can be finicky, maybe not a bubble tape, but a carpet anemone or a long tentacle. They can be hard to keep in the home aquarium. They move a lot, they get shredded by the power head. So then people choose to say, you know, I don't want that. But then a backup option, sometimes I see with the clownfish, they host a, you feel it like a torch, a hammer coral. I seen them host a goniopora. I seen them host a mushroom. Uh, I seen them hanging out around Escolimia coral. So yeah, that's, those are the other options basically, you know? Okay, very cool. I wanna ask you a question again. What do you got, again? <laughs> again, All right. so. Last th one. There's a lot of different clownfish out there with a lot of different colors and patterns on them. Mm. How exactly do those clownfish get those patterns? They've been bred in captivity for a very, very long time. It was one of the first fish that they successfully bred within our industry. Let's say you get a hundred clownfish, a percentage of those clownfish, they come out with different patterns and they've just been cross-breeding those patterns for so long that it's just, that's how they come with all these patterns. It's just been many, many years of successfully aquaculture in this fish. I can tell you, I couldn't tell you last time that I seen a wild clownfish. I mean, I, when I go to the wholesalers, when I go shopping for fish or you look at the list, it's so, 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 so rare that Last time that I remember seeing a clownfish wild for sale, it must have been five, six years ago, that I remember wow. me personally. So Steven, you give me all the answers that I was looking for, so I got one last question for you. Sure. Out of all the people that come in, what are the main questions that they ask you when it comes to about this clownfish? What if you have to get one final question for me? What so, would it be? that last question would probably be, what exact tank size do you necessarily need for a clownfish? A lot of people come in here seeing these clowns in all of these different size tanks, but what's the minimum size tank that you can really put a clownfish in? Oh, a minimum size tank, I mean, you literally can put a pair of clowns in a three or four gallon tank, I don't see why not. Five, 10 gallon, I will say, will be someone for the beginner hobbyist. It just takes the tank to be mature. What I notice is once you cycle the tank, they're not the best fish to start a tank with. They seem to be a little fragile in the beginning. I recommend starting the tank with maybe some chromis and stuff like that maybe some uh, damsels, but after about two to three months of the tank being established, uh, putting a pair of clownfish on a five gallon tank is very easy. You literally can do it with the penguin filter, you can do it with no light. 
They're just very simple fish. As long as you feed them and you keep the water quality somewhat acceptable, they will do okay. Anything else? Yes, yes. I have one last question for you. You one say more. it was the last one. one, one more. Sorry, one more. Promise. Okay, I promise. You're gonna owe me after this. Okay, I owe you. All right. Um, so I do have one more question that a lot of customers ask me, and they ask me quite often, what fish can go with clowns and what fish can? I know that there are some fish that can't really go with clownfish. I mean, what are those fish? Mainly reef safe fish can go with clownfish. I would try to stay away from too aggressive fish that they could be eaten by. Eels, trigger fish, lionfish, sharks, um, groupers. Uh, mainly that will be it. I'm just maybe too big of angelfish, maybe some some big aggressive wrasses, but for the main part, just try to keep a reef friendly fish and that will be the main the main idea just to keep them in a reef environment. Huh. What were we talking about earlier? Corals. Such They're as hosting Xenia. Xenia. Look at that guys. Huh. Priceless, we didn't even mention that. So there's many, many corals that they can host, as you guys can see. The proof is in the pudding. So anyhow, I love this pair right there. I love how big they are and the white that they have in them. Let's go ahead and put this in the 1500. All right, sounds uh, good. Let me show you where the other one is. I saw them earlier, they're gorgeous. All right, Steven, so this is the pair right here. They're gorgeous, what do you call them? I think those are Black Storm Clowns. Black Storm, I love them. Let's go ahead and put those on the Pentagon. All right. In the meantime, I think that is it for today. You have any, quest any more questions for me? I don't. All right, enough with the clown around. I get back to work. <laughs> All right, man. See you, Sounds buddy. good. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and if you have any questions, just post them below in our comments. See you guys soon.